Well, my field is that of clinical psychology and I study some of the most extreme forms of psychopathology, for example, borderline and narcissistic personality disorders. And I am really fascinated by the abrupt changes that people with these traits display, for example, in emotions and in behaviors. And basically, I'm studying the causes of those changes. Recently, my research has focused more on aggression and, how, and on how to predict it. And uh, within that field, I think it is important to differentiate between distinct motivations that people have for aggression. For example, you can um, aggress impulsively to remove a certain threat, or you can aggress premeditated in a very cold-blooded way. And my research has shown that both aggression types are related to distinct uh, predictors. And um, in general, I think it is really important to bridge research with clinical practice and I do that partly by also working as a therapist myself. Yeah, one of the promising developments in my field is that studies are relying more and more on behavioral assessments of aggression, which is far more reliable than self-report. And for these behavioral aggression tasks, we use cover stories in which we tell participants, for example, that they will be uh, doing a competitive reaction time game. But in reality, we incorporated provocative elements into this game. And then we provide our particip participants with the opportunity to uh, provide an aversive loud noise to their opponent. And this is actually um, a type of aggressive behavior. Well, I have been fascinated by abnormal behavior from a very early age on. And, um, well, perhaps ironically, the most important thing that I learned through both my clinical and my research work is that there's really no such thing as abnormal or even normal behavior and that the boundaries are really fuzzy. What I appreciate most about my research is the creativity that is associated with it. And especially within the field of aggression, you need to be very creative. Well, I think it's really refreshing to be part of the Maastricht Young Academy because we work with people that come from a very different background and this gives you a much broader perspective. So uh, I would like to stimulate interdisciplinary research within the Maastricht Young Academy and uh, this has given my own research a real boost to collaborate also with social psychology and with neuropsychology and I would like to take this a step further and further nurture this within our academy. And uh, because I think interdisciplinarity is one of the key ingredients for true innovation.